Dawson Rider. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with my review of Dobutsu Sentai Jojo episode 37. I think that's the right number. I'm like 97% sure. But yes, the first word review in a week. It was a week off from both this and X Aid, which I might mention X Aid as well because it was off for a week, which is actually kind of nice sometimes. It's like a vacation. And it also worked out very well because my apartment building was getting construction done on the outside, so it just would have been a lot of. So, yeah, that worked out. Anyway, so this episode was decent, if not a bit... Oh my god, ghosts. Let me get the salt. Anyway, um, it was decent, if not a bit, like, weirdly paced. Um, like, basically, at its core, to describe why it was weirdly paced, is that it was an introductory episode for Cube Octopus, sandwiched between the bird plot which sounds really funny, like the bird plot is such a toku explanation. And they also had time to fit in some really dumb toku monster stuff, and um, of course Misao being absolutely Juo the worst. So it, it was very odd. Like I said, um, the, the bird plot of, you know, the guy that gave Yamato his initial powers and stuff, and the hunt for the last champion symbol was quite a quite of like the main plot there. I don't what happens to me. It was like the main plot, basically, or the most important plot, I would say, of the series. And similar to the way the ninja behaved, when it's not doing it, it acts like it doesn't exist at all. Like you could forget about it. So this is the first time we've seen him in a while. In fact, I think it was a decent chunk ago that they foreshadowed that they were gonna to touch upon it and then like nothing ever came of it until now in like a really weirdly gapped way. So we start off with seeing him and then we see Larry for the first time in forever and you kind of forgot who he was and he's like, oh hey, I found this thing and it's a cube. And then we get a really weird dual monster of the week, like rapper duo dancers that kept saying yo, 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 like Alpha 6 and they just couldn't get ahead of them. And it was like, they were kind of threatening to them right up to the end, but at the same time, they made him like jump rope, so I was like, the episode started, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a good one. And then they started the jump rope, and I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be a stupid one. And then like, things started getting real again, I'm like, I don't know how to feel. So, they had that, and of course, Misao messed up, and he's like, oh, I'm the worst. I'm like, yeah, you are, you should just quit now, you know, Lemonhead. Uh, just like, basically, I'm, I'm done with him, uh... Uh, being the way he is, mainly because I don't know why we are focusing on him so much. I can't remember an episode where we didn't do this plot now, and uh, now I just want them to, to treat him, him like Michael Scott treats Toby, which is where I got the Lemonhead thing from. It's just, I wouldn't mind it if anything ever came from it. Like, at the end of the episode, or during the episode, this was a very small portion of it, like, he was like, oh, it was me, and Yamato was like, man... Don't even worry about it. And then he, he got all tough again. He was like, oh, I can do anything. But we've literally done that episode before. So since I'm like 99% sure that within the next episode, probably one or two, we'll just have the same thing happening, it's hard to get invested. Like, not only do I not know why we just keep repeating this plot, but there's no progress. So it, it, honestly, I'm talking about it more than it needs to be because it wasn't in this episode a lot. I just... But it also why it stood out to me, I'm like, why are we doing this again? Like, there was enough going on that we didn't need to do this. So, that was the thing. Um, but everything else was kind of eventful, because we did get Octopus, which is basically like, hey, we already botched to have everything combined into one, might as well introduce another one. So, but uh, other than being annoyed at them botching, them combining everything, I do like Octopus' design, both as a cube and I like the form. It looks like a, like, Vilgax bearded pirate thing. But anyway, um... What was weird about that, that I found, is because Jojo does so much, like, pointless filler, I felt that these storylines could have been separated. Like, we could have had Octopus introduced in a separate episode in lieu of a filler, and then just done this episode without Octopus being in it, because his presence really wasn't necessary for the point of getting the rangers fighting an enemy and then having Yamato in danger to be saved. Like, it just would have spread out the events more, whereas this felt like a huge rush job where we're introducing two products that need to be sold this weekend, which is uh, Bard's Changer and the final Duo Changer and the Octopus. So like, it would have been nice to have it separated, both so it didn't feel like a product rush and to give you more things that actually happened in the series. So that was kind of weird, um, and it kind of... And I guess none of, a lot of the, the animal, or the cube animal introductions have felt like a huge event. 
but it made it feel even more of an afterthought, considering it's a smaller introduction of another cube uh, being introduced alongside another ranger, essentially. Um, I did get, I was amused by when it was large, like, where are we going to put it, and they just smashed the house. It was kind of stupid, but it was funny. But anyway, so the meat of the episode kind of dragged things out, because like I said, Bird appeared at the at the beginning, bottle, oh, and then at the end, uh, he um, appears and saves Yamato, uh, and he, trans he like calls upon the champion symbol and transforms into um, basically... All right, that's it. All right, spread a circle around me just in case. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh yes, Bardo. So he saved Yamato at the end, he transformed into a really dull looking orange bird ranger. Now, I just wanna give thoughts on this in general. Um, it was cool to have him show up. I like that he's actually becoming a ranger of his own. And I'm very conflicted about the suit and the ideas behind it. On one hand, I kind of like the idea of basically a duller version of Eagle's suit because it makes sense since he gave his main essence to Yamato. So that's kind of neat. But it doesn't come off looking as cool. Like, I like the sort of more highlighted designs around his arms, like on the gloves, but the color just... I wish they would have just fully committed to orange. It doesn't really look orange. I think my friend George described it best when he said it looks like when your printer's running out of ink. So I'm, I'm kind of conflicted on it. Like, I like the idea, but I don't think the way it looks is cool. There's a part of me that just wishes we would have got a full-on new suit, like a reimagined eagle, just because I like the Geodra helmet design and stuff, so I would like to see, you know, what they would do with it. And there's also a part of me that wishes they just had the balls to just make him eagle and just have Yamato be whale. And sure, you wouldn't be able to do Gorilla anymore, but maybe you could be like, Hey, Larry, here's your life force back. We've used Gorilla quite a bit. You know, it's fine. We got, like, what, 15 episodes left? I'd be fine with that. I don't know. I just think there could have been cooler ways to pull it off. But there's also some neat-ish ideas there. But yeah. So, basically, even though that was kind of the main attraction of the episode, we're going to get more into the thick of the bird plot next week. Um, so that'll be more talking about that, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on that because I've been waiting to since I've seen the pictures for it. But like I said, overall, it was a, a decent episode. It was entertaining, the stakes were kind of high, but it was just kind of weirdly paced, sandwiching these two introductions while also doing a stupid gimmick for the monster and having Misao do his thing as well. So I'll probably give it a 6.5. But yeah, so looking forward to next week just to seeing how everything plays out when they're actually in the plot. I'm hoping that the whole episode's about it and they don't, like, stall and do more weird stuff but yeah but anyway that's about it until next time make sure you go to the crazy podcast at writersbrainsrambles.com and of course don't forget to like comment subscribe until next time dawson writer signing out